Hey guys, so I just did a review for the amp, this Mark Bass amp. Now we're gonna do this high balance. And what I see is that the, the light is not good because it's on the side. It's a dark day today, but we can make the bass sound. This bass. I used to have a Warwick bass. It was very heavy for traveling, very long. This is the perfect bass. So this is light. And this is the Ibanez. So people can say, okay, you're gonna adjust to this length of bass and you'll not be able to play the long bass anymore. Well, this is, you know, uh, me, I like to play classical music on bass. So it's very easy to have the fret together. You can do amazing stretches. Stretch is amazing, you can do a lot more sound than you can do on a regular bass because the regular bass is long. On top of that, you can do big stretches and you can play a lot faster. Because if the next fret is much lower, much higher, then you have a hard time. This one you can reach fast. Oh, so the sound is pretty good for the price. So we can look. I didn't play too much with the. I didn't play too much with this one yet, so let me change uh, the settings a little bit to see the sound. Let's change the setting a bit. Let's change this one. Let's see what this one does. This one is quiet. This one is more rock. This is, I think these are the different uh, uh, pickups. And this one is volume. I think it's volume. The only thing I don't like this bass compared to a very good bass is that it's gonna make some noise when you play fast here or play so, so, like this is like on a Warwick I never had this problem would not make the sound so this one you have to play you have to do different settings to play this not correctly the, the notes way down like if I do so this would not never happen on a Warwick so. I don't know what kind of setting you need to do. So maybe I need to find the setting which... If you put too much trouble on these parts of the bass, so it's not gonna sound good. So you have to change settings, more bass here, I think, and maybe... I don't know why it does it on this part. It never does it here. It's okay here, but here. So there's a way to. So you have to play soft in this part. So this is the this bass is very good. It could be my strings are too high here, and it's gonna make this noise. So I need to, I need to look at the way to make the settings down, make these strings down, and it's gonna go like this, and maybe. Yes, I think the looks like if I put the string down, maybe it's not gonna make the noise. Or oh, this way, make it make the noise.
Tapping, there's, no, there's no, no problem. So it looks really good. It's very light. I don't know, like a few kilos. I mean, this is three times lighter than the, a regular bass, like a, a Gibson bass, a Fender, or Warwick. I love Warwicks, <clears throat> and the sound of the Warwick uh, Corvette. This is something I need to get. You know that they do short scale Warwick. Go the Warwick regular one go here. Most bases go here. Warwick have a short scale which goes here, it's pretty good. But this is amazing for traveling, light, and the sound is pretty good, so I console you guys to check it out.